You are about to watch me get demolished. The year is 2014. I'm living in Vancouver. I have my office upstairs in this nice little, almost like loft. I, I remember this vividly because it was one of the worst sessions I've ever had in my life. And at the time, I'd been trying to get action against Isildur and he just wasn't giving me action or wasn't around. And all of a sudden, I'm, I'm sitting in the lobbies at, at a bunch of tables. All of a sudden, he sits with me at 300, 600. And I'm a little tired, it's late in the day, but I've been waiting for this opportunity, so I hop in. Today, we're gonna look through every pot that was over 200 big blinds. So the interesting thing is we actually played almost 5,500 hands in this session. To give you some context, in a lot of my Galphon Challenge matches, I was playing between 500 and 800 hands a day on two tables heads up. Here we played, I believe, four tables heads up and somehow got to 5,500 hands. Because of that, we have almost 60 pots of 200 big blinds or greater, which is insane. I'm gonna go through them fast because I don't wanna keep you here for hours. Buckle up, <laughs> let's get into the action. So 2014 is actually a point in my career where I think I'm kind of at my worst compared to the competition. I had launched Run It Once a couple of years ago, I was spending time on the business. We were trying to, to launch new things as well. I had met my now wife and girlfriend a couple of years ago and was spending a lot of time with her, a lot of time away from the tables. This is, I believe, around the time that better tools start coming out. Well, for online poker in general, I don't know about PLO, what was out at the time, but certainly tools were out that I was not using and my game had suffered a little bit. At the time, it, it wasn't really clear to me, but it's clear to me now. Despite this being not, well, I mean, it's still a long time, it's nine years ago, but I think my play is gonna be kind of 2008 level, so. We will see, as I mentioned, I'm gonna to try to breeze through these pretty fast, but if you have a question about an individual hand, let me know. All right, I raise the button, call three bet, all good so far. He bets flop. Okay, this is terrible. So right off the bat, this is just bad. I, I don't know why I'm raising the flop with a hand that has just a very easy flop call. I'm getting it in really bad against a lot of hands. And I have playability, I can just call. So this is terrible on the first hand, we get it in. And he has ace, ace, king, five. It's fine by him. Um, I think I know why I was raising. So I had this read on him that he was c-betting the turn in three bet pots a lot. And I just felt like I kept having to fold to his turn c-bets. And so I just kept making these bad, I mean, presumably bad. I just know I would, I would raise a lot of flops. We'll see if they're bad. But I, I think probably I just made a lot of bad flop raises. Okay. Call three bet. Call C bet. So far, pretty good. He pots and he has 23K behind. Yeah, the jam is fine. Um, obviously, I'm not thrilled, but I just have enough equity against his range. And the rivers are not going to play that great. There's not a reason to, to wait till the river. Five on the first, king on the second run out. He had ace, queen, jack, jack. I mean, that's a little thin from him. And that's an example of like, he was just denying so much equity like that. Okay, three bet, good, bet flop, sure. Call the raise, good. I mean, bet flop is good, call the raise is good. And I open jam. This is good for me, I like this line. Gets it in with Queen five with spades, and he's gonna win both. Okay, cooler. Defend the big blind. He bets 3K into 3.6. So I raised um, against a small bet. So this is a flop where you mostly bet small these days. So against a small bet, I could raise my hand, but it's not, it is close. Um, and I usually don't. Against a big bet, you're definitely not supposed to raise a hand like this. So this is kind of bad. Turn, I bet big. This is, I mean, I'm putting too much money into the pot, but it's not the worst turn bet once I get here. And I need to just jam river. I have no idea why I'm checking. So like he's going to have some six, seven, eight, and I don't know, aces with spades and stuff like that. I need to just jam. I think what I must have been thinking is that I know that at the time he, like I felt like my image was a, a nitty image, although so far it doesn't seem like I'm being nitty, but I think he didn't think I would, I thought at the time that he didn't think I would bluff this river after this line. So I thought he'd make some big folds. So I decided to check this hand, um, obviously calling pretty happily, but 
run into 3.6. Cooler, although didn't need to raise the flop. Uh, checking this flop is okay. Um, no. So you check this flop to check call at this stack depth. I instead check potted. We're not short enough for me to pot this in because he's going to call and turns are going to be dicey. He just rip it in. He does rip it in, which is fine with me at this point. Probably getting it in flipping against his range. Uh, so bad check raise for me, bad jam from him. He should just call. There's a lot of just like gambling from both of us so far. Open the button, call three bet, flop three pair, just call. This looks good so far. Uh, stack is a little over 2x pot, and he pots, so very easy jam, I hope. Yep. He calls. And not the best rivers. He has king queen. We chop it up, I think. Yeah. Call three bet. Looks good. Flop a wrap with a diamond. This is not a this is not a flop raise. This is a terrible flop raise. I don't even have an explanation. I mean, the explanation I gave is probably why I did it, because I was didn't want to see the five of or mm, the six of spades turn and then see a pot bet. But just deal with that. This is so bad. I'm gonna win the first one. I'm gonna lose the second one. Here's Jack nine five. Okay. He definitely applies a lot of pressure. Okay, call three bet, call C bet looks good. Call turn bet looks good. Or fine at least. And uh, call river jam, obviously. Not flush. I mean, that hand's not a three bet, so he was three betting pretty wide. Call three bet. How does this pot get big? Well, that's how. <laughs> uh, don't raise this hand on the flop. I should have a raising range and I should have a lot of bluffs, but I need more equity than this. I'm sure I just thought ace blocker, queen blocker, etc. He calls, turn the queen, so now I can take my hand to showdown. And he pots the river. This is not the worst call, but I think it's probably bad because he's not going to bluff with fives or better. And he's just going to have fives or better a lot when he three bets and then bet calls flop. Yeah, I'll have some missed flush draws, but not enough, I think. He has full house. Call three bet, flop a set. Hopefully I don't screw this one up. Yeah, I like just calling. And definitely call turn against a little over half pot. And call the jam. Let's see what he has. Nine seven. So just to just a gut shot. This is not a three bet preflop either, um, and pretty loose flop and turn play. Three bet flop two pair. Bet he calls. Um, this is a tough spot. It looks like I just pot it in to avoid any dicey spots. He jams. I think I have to call, but I don't know. Maybe not. Honestly, even with those pot odds. 10 river, 5 river, he just turns top set. So I'll lose that 120k. I mean, my play's fine. I was in very good shape on the flop. Standard 3 bet. I, I never check this flop these days, but if I did, it'd be a reasonable checking hand. Check call, turn the nuts. I think check call, but raising's not the worst against him. Obviously call it off on the river when he jams, and he has... The same hand. So we chop that up. Unfortunate. Although he was ahead on flop. So three bet. This check call I like. I could bet, but check call's good. Turn the nuts again on a rainbow straight board again. Definitely check call here. My, my range is doing really poorly here. Let's let him bluff. Call it off. Looks good. He just has the nuts again. So we split that. Um, okay, three bet, call four bet, seems okay. This is going in, sure. I don't think open, I mean, I could actually just open bet flop, although he's going to stab some like ace, five, six, seven, and fold. So yeah, I, I like uh, check raise. Mm, i probably lose that. 
Don't know about that. Chop it up. Call three bet. <laughs> you're not supposed to do this. This is another one that you're not supposed to do. It's not the worst, especially because he's three betting so light. Although actually that, that gives more two pair on this board. It's not the absolute worst. I don't really like it. it if he's C betting way too much, which it seems like he might be, this is actually okay. But it's a little loose. Let's see what we get it in against. That's a pretty bad run out. It's a not great run out. He has ace, king, five, deuce, double suited. Standard from him. We'll chop that pot up. Nice flop for me after calling a three bet. I mean, I do I think he's really pot folding here? Maybe maybe he was, in which case this is okay because like I'm, my equity is fine against everything. But I think it's just a call. Uh, most people don't pot fold on this board, this stack depth. So 142K pot, miss the first, hit the second. We chop it up against two pair. All right. Good three bet. I mean, I bet range on this flop. Um, if I check, I like check raising, not check call. Well, it's not the worst, but I should just bet flop. And now I rip it in. He has king three. Um, he gets there on the first. He's got the open ender two, so we chop this up. Um, pretty standard-ish from him. He could check flop, but probably bet is good. Not great for me, but not the worst. Good turn bet. Call the raise. <laughs> um, I mean, like, to, to three bet jam here on the turn, I have to think that he's really bluffing a lot, which people are not doing. Like, even, I think I just, he was so aggressive that I had a misconception of what he was doing. But he was just aggressive with, like, yeah, some bluffs, but a pretty strong range. And he was, like, reasonably foldy and passive when he had a weak hand. So, or like, a, you know, the weaker portions of his range. So this is just kind of suicidal. I mean, my clubs are reasonably often going to be good. I have a wrap. It's not like I'm burning a ton of equity, but it just seems unnecessary. Like he needs to be folding a lot for this to be good. And we get there once. Yeah. Wow, we were in bad shape. He had the 10 8 with the turn set. Um, good so far. He bet. Um, it's fine. I don't think I could fold against him. Although I am, I mean, I'm really repping 5-5. Five five, so if he has queen 10 with something, he shouldn't really get it in, but he might. I think I should just call, but ripping the rest in, this is not totally, I don't know. This is too much money to get in in theory, certainly. And um, like the raise is dicey. What to do against the three bed is not, I, I, I think it's just a call, but this is, I don't know. It's like a few dicey decisions, but nothing terrible. Um, I do block queens and sixes, but he does have sixes anyway. So that's too bad. Raise. I would check this on the flop, but the bet's fine. Definitely calling the check raise. Good. I'm glad to see I didn't rip it in there. Um, good. Glad to see I didn't rip it in here either. Although this actually would not be the worst spot to rip it in because he might have like a stronger flush draw plus pair that folds. And even if he, like, if he has ace eight dry or if he has seven seven dry, he might fold to a jam here. So actually this would be a reasonable spot to jam with a five high flush draw and a wrap that just turned the extra three outs with the threes. Good river. Um, do I raise or just call? I think he's probably not potting a set anymore. Maybe he is. I don't know. It's not much more. The raise seems fine. He has the nuts. Um, is he folding the turn to pot? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, sorry. I went kind of fast there. He had a flopped open ender plus nut flush draw. And uh, river the straight. A higher straight. Call three bet. Call. <laughs> this is This is really bad. Really, really bad. This is maybe the worst one yet. It's definitely closer to a fold than a raise, um, but it should just be a call. 
I really, I mean, it's, I'm surprised at how much worse I am here than in a session I recently reviewed from 2010. Like in 2010, I was better than this. And this is 2014. So I regressed. Call, check raise is good. Against the three bet. I don't think I can fold. And I think just being out of position, I think just ripping it in now is probably good. Cool. It's fine. He has that. So I was in bad shape, but I, I don't mind my line. You're not thrilled once he three bets, but you just have too much equity. And like against his betting range, you're doing great. So the check raise is good. Call three bet, flop top two, rip it in. This one's a little more reasonable. Um, still probably call today, but it's not, it's not the worst. He calls, saving 23K. He jams 20, well, 24K in on the turn. I have to call. And he had that. So queen, queen, four, four. So bad flop call from him, I think. Or I mean, it's definitely bad in theory. I was raising open, dry open enders though. So it was probably good in practice against me. Yeah. All right, I won one. It's exciting. Call three bet. Call C bet. I was going to be very sad if I raised that. He's potting. Um, the kind of interesting thing, I'm just like trying to put myself back then. So like these boards, when the straight turns, I was betting way too much in position, like way too often. And so I th I think like he, he might check a lot of good hands here. I guess I'm wrong. Is he called? No, okay. So he had the, the combo draw. So a good jam-ish for me back then. I could also call though and fold club rivers and, and call it off on bricks. Okay, good. Call three bet, call C bet, call churn. It's really interesting that he's sizing down here on the turn. So he's three quarters on the flop or a little less. Then he's just over half pot on the turn on the ace. When like all of his sets can keep betting big, I think. Well, yeah, he doesn't have jack 10, I think when he sizes down. I know I have a full house, but I don't think I beat anything that's value betting. He definitely could bluff here a lot though. And like even like King 10, 10 might play this way. Okay, he's queen. That's why he sized down. Interesting. I mean, he's bet so big on the flops that um just check rip this. So if he's stabbing this flop way too much, which he might be, then this seems okay. Like it's pretty loose to get in, but reasonable equity against two pair, decent equity against combo draws, and uh, a lot of fold equity, presumably. First one's gonna be mine, that's nice. Second one, I have a chance against nine seven. Have nine seven. His get in on the like his flop bet is whatever. His jam on the flop against my race seems pretty bad. Um, he's in a tough spot though. But okay, good three bet, uh, C bet range. But I decided to check. Now check call is good. He's gonna stab this board a lot. Check call is good again, and looking to call it off, which we do. He has the set. Um, I think this is going to be, I mean, once I check flop, it's very standard for me, and I think I'm going to do pretty well. And actually, he could have a six for value. Okay, single raise pot. A very bad C bet for me. Don't do this. It's just the wrong kind of hand. And I'm supposed, <laughs> I'm assuming I didn't fold because this pot's going to be big. Uh, I think I should fold to the raise once I bet. So two bad plays for me. Now we turn something, and so this call is justified. And easy jam. 10 high flush. He calls with set with a heart. Pretty good. Uh, he should check call flop, but not the worst. But standard from him otherwise, I think. Call three bet. Okay, I suspect that I might do this. I mean, it's not ridiculous just in that if he's c betting way too much stuff, but he's probably not folding any over pairs. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Hit a straight on the second one. He just has ace, ace, four. So I mean, I'm kind of flipping ish, but use my position. I don't know. That's whatever. Um, here, I should raise flop. Just too much equity, I think. I just call. Turn boat, easy call. Let's see what he has. Easy call down with 9-5. And he was bluffing. 
So that worked out well. I think I raised, should raise flop, but not a big deal. And then the rest looks good. Four bet aces. C bet. So this C bet's too big. I don't need to bet this big. It's not way too big, but it's a little too big. He jams. I mean, I don't think I could fold. He's going to have like a bunch of Jack 10 type combos. And, you know, yeah, he has a queen a lot, but I don't think I could fold. He has queen nine. You should consider calling queen nine there, but they worked out. Flop the super nuts. Easy call. I guess so. A little deeper, I would raise this here. I think I just call again. Man, maybe it's a raise. I don't know. He checks. What does he have? A give up, I guess. No, because he has to put more money in. So he check calls. Um, I don't really know what this would be. Okay. Um, pretty good line by him, actually. Makes sense. Uh, he's right to not value bet river, especially blocking the kings. Okay, easy call of the three bet. <laughs> uh, this is terrible. I mean, I'm doing the same thing again and again. This is just terrible. Um, obviously, I call it off once I raise, but I just need to call flop. This is dumb. He's got some weakish holdings, but I'm not making him fold. A lot of, I don't know. We're seeing all the hands that, that were big. So maybe he was folding a lot of flops and some of this stuff was working, but it doesn't seem right. You could check call, but check raise is good. I don't like the turn check. I should just bet. Obviously now I'm jamming pretty happily. Queen deuce with diamonds. So yeah, his flop bet's kind of whatever. Call the raise is good. Turn bet is probably good. So reasonable from him. Okay, pretty weak hand, but raising call three bets okay. He's betting big. I mean, I think I still have to call an open ender, but it's not entirely clear. It's a pretty dicey spot on a wet board like this. Turn the second nuts with a redraw. I think given the way he's playing, I just need to rip it in. Spades aren't good. Oh, he had the same hand, <clears throat> but he uh, on the second run out hit eight six for the full house. So he'll take three quarters. Mm, I think this is just a call pre. Now facing the four bet, I don't know. It's maybe a call. This is bad. Just check flop. If I do want to have some bets on this flop, I think I go smaller. And this hand is just, it's just bad. This is a really bad hand to be betting. So I'm going to fish. I'll hit two flushes and one. He flopped the nuts. Yeah, bad play. Like, because you're going to, the flop's going to go check, check a lot. You're going to get to realize your equity a lot. And he's going to bet small a lot and you can just check all. So you don't have to, it's not like you're putting stacks in or getting denied equity a bunch. Uh, so call a three bet, bet flop, which is fine with this hand. He calls, turns him out. Good check. River trips. Good bet. And he raises, I mean... I think I need a call against him, basically. I, I don't feel bad about this one. I lost, which I assume I did because I lost every hand this session. <laughs> Defend the big blind. Check call looks good. Check call turn looks good. Check raise river, obviously, with the nuts. He calls, so he's got a flush. Second nuts for him, pretty standard cooler. Okay, what happened here? I raise pre, he donked flop. I forgot that he was doing this, but he was doing a lot of this. Man, I, it'd be fun to go back into his stats and figure out how, to, how I'd exploit him now, but I, it's gonna take, it's like a four hour project. <laughs> um, it'd also be fun to go into my stats and see how to exploit me because I was playing terribly. Uh, so calling a flop is good and raising the turn now, good. Okay, he calls. I mean, I don't know why I bet three quarters, just pot, river. Calls, what does he have? Under, like six, six, wonderful. Jack, deuce with diamonds, okay. If you have a donking range, I think his flop donk is good and turn bet is good and call if the raise is good. And his, yeah, it's all fine once he, if you have a donking range. So well played hand by both of us, assuming you let him have a donking range. 
easy check call on the flop. Sorry, I go too fast. When I review hands, I just speed through them. Anyways, check call, standard with pair plus open ender. I turn the nuts. He's betting big. Just call here, don't raise. Good. It's not enough of a redraw in this spot. And he pots. I raise. He calls. Probably a chop. It is a chop. A lot of split pots. Um, this is a bad three bet. And this is a bad check. <laughs> I just don't you don't need to check anything on Jack 10 line. But I guess I didn't have a small sizing. And if you don't if you don't have a small sizing, then sure, you can check the, this board sometimes. Um, I like my turn check after he checks back flop because I think he starts betting like he jack six and stuff like that. So he bets, I raise. It's a little too big to raise, I think, but it's okay. That's fine. He rips it in. He shouldn't really jam anything here, I think, but he does. What does he have? Okay. I win. Um, his flop play and turn play, well, his flop play is good. His turn bet is pretty good, although he could check that back. But he should not check. I mean, he should probably bet fold, I think. Check call seems okay. But I should just fold here. Clear that. Okay. This is, this is a really bad play. This might be my worst play yet. No, probably not. I don't remember all the plays. It's probably not the worst, but... I'm sure I was thinking, well, I can't check call this, so why don't I check raise bluff and try to win the pot? But it's just such a bad, bad hand. Uh, you, so you just need to fold. I just need to fold. And now I have a pretty good bluff spot. Sure, bet big. River plays good. He jams. That's unfortunate. And 86K lost or so in that pot. That didn't need to happen. Three bet. That's a little too big, but okay. Could better check turn. I check. He bets. Okay. He jams. I guess I called this. Why did I call this? I mean, I unblock spades. He is, if he has a hand like 10 9, he's going to play 10 9, 9 8. He's going to play this way a lot. I block 10 8s. I don't know. It's not the worst call in the world. It's fine. But he just flopped the nuts. The, the thing is, these plays get worse as you start half potting flop because they need to start folding some weak 9 8 hands and stuff like that. But maybe he doesn't anyways. All right, raise, call three bet. Call flop bet. That's a big bet for this board, but that's what we were doing at the time. Decide to bet turn. I would check this, um, especially with the nut straight outs that can value bet. Like if I have river a 10, I can value bet. So yeah, I don't think I like betting this. Uh, but obviously after I bet turn, I can't value bet when I hit the 10. But once I bet turn, I need to bet river. The river bet's good. He calls with 10 high flush. Well played from him. And not terrible for me, but I think the turn bet is it's not the right combo for it. Um, I mean, not ridiculous, but don't bet this flop. And then just fold to the raise. Don't call this raise. This is a really weak hand. So you, you need to, you, Phil Galfon from 2014, need to know the difference between absolute hand strength and relative hand strength and like playability. And this hand, yeah, I have two pair, but I don't beat any value. I'm drawing dead basically against value. I'm not going to be able to continue on many turns, although obviously it looks like I will because this pot got big. But yeah, this is just clear fold. That's a very good turn for me. Easy call. And a good river. So calling it off. Hoping he has 4-4. Four, four. All right. He had a missed draw. Makes sense from him all around. I should fold flop, but then the rest looks good. Nice to win a pot. This, this session review is actually tilting me, not because I'm losing, but because I'm playing so badly. Call three bet, call C bets, bets big. I kind of don't believe him that he keeps betting this turn, uh, but just call and let him bluff river and call. I, I, yeah, I just don't really believe him, although he probably has it because I lost. Yeah, he just has it. I thought he would expect me to bet this turn a lot. Okay, three bet looks good. Lot bet looks fine. I mean, looks good. Turn bet, yeah. I don't think I can fold it. Um, yeah, just get it in. Usually going to be behind, but I have two to one and could be add. Like, as you've seen, we shove some combo stuff that we shouldn't. So 
I could be way ahead potentially. Um, no, he just turned top set. Lucky to get half. Uh, I think this is not a three bet, but whatever. Call the four bet once I do three bet. Open jam. I mean, whatever. I, I would check, but betting is fine. Let me get it in. Probably flipping against his range. Those are good run outs for us. We're going to win one. Call three bet. Call C bet. Call turn. Not happily. Uh, I don't see why I'm jamming it in. Just play. I'm afraid to play the river. That's why. I should just call turn. He has the turn straight with a weaker flush draw, and he's going to get it all. Another bad play for me. Gets punished. Um, so far, so good. Um, I mean, I'm not folding. I think just rip this in, probably. I mean, in theory, I think it's call, but just raising probably against the way that I think he's playing is good. He's just got so many, like, just ace-ace queen from what I've seen. Just top set again. Lucky to get half, though. Three bet, call four bet. All looks good so far. Yeah, here I don't mind the open jam. Check raise is okay too, but here he's going to have some ace king queen 10 that I'd like to just fold that he could check back with. That run out looks good. This run out looks good. Take it down against ace king jack eight. So, I mean, if he has that with a nine, well, does he fold a nine? If he has it with a four instead of an eight, you know, he's folding the best hand by. Well, maybe not the best, best hand. Uh, this should be a fold for me on the flop against this sizing. If he's third potting, just call, but nothing great can happen. I mean, it can, but not a lot of great things can happen with this with this uh, combo. That's one of them. I think it's just a call. We're a little too deep to rip 200 big blinds in here. So this is too much. I think I just need to call. He is betting too much, like we've talked about, but it's too much to put in. Actually get it in, you know, a little bit ahead and hold. So it's 240k pot. How did I? I mean, I guess I've lost most pots, but I didn't think I was going to win one of the biggest. Whoa. <laughs> he check calls in Donk's turn. I didn't know that he was doing that. I don't know what this is. I mean, my hand's just a call. What is he doing? I want to see. I'm going to get to see his hand, I think. I wonder why I went small. I'm repping a straight. Maybe I'm trying to rep like five, six and hope that he does something crazy. What does he have? He must have five, six. Five, six, nine. So we turned the extra outs and he was just like, I'm going to lead and make Phil fold his jack, jack, 10, three hands. It's not unreasonable, but it's pretty tough to balance. Um, okay. Call three bet, call C bet, looks good. Facing pot. Um, I honestly don't know what this is. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> it's not that, I'm not supposed to jam. Uh, it's call or fold. And uh, I'm gonna win one of them. Jack eight, okay. Call, but not thrilled. This is really dicey already. Uh, I guess call. I have to stop jamming these. It's so bad. I'm gonna win one of them. Kings with diamonds. Yeah, that's really, really bad. I'm. I can't believe how much worse I was here than in past years. I bet call check raise looks good. Obviously, my sizing's too big, but good bet nonetheless. Easy call on the turn. Did he size down? pots. Do I shove the rest in or just call? I think just call, but it's close. That looks like a straight flush for big pot. And actually, that's it. We did it. We got through all of the big pots. I mean, yeah. Wow. I, I hope you enjoyed that. I did not enjoy that at all. Actually, <laughs> seeing myself play so badly. When I, I recently reviewed another session against Patrick Antonius, from 2010 and I actually liked my play. Here, I'm shocked that I played this badly. I must have, like I mentioned that I had a lapse in 
skill <laughs> at this point in my career, but I didn't think it was this bad. I didn't think I'd regressed. I thought I just stopped growing and my opponents surpassed me. But uh, I actually regressed. And it, you know, it's some combination of going to the session, obviously tired and probably getting tilted. Um, but also I think there was a lot of fear at play for me, just thinking back to how I just was so sick of folding turns to his turn C bets. Cause he three bet so often and he C bet flop so often, he C bet turns so often it felt like, and I mean, it, technically he did, that those pots just kept happening and I kept folding turns. And so I just wanted to shove flops and shove turns because I thought that would combat his really high frequency. As you saw here, I mean, these are just the pots that got big, so maybe he was bet folding a lot, but he had decent hands too. So yeah, not happy right now reviewing that play. Like it actually upsets me even today, not because I lost so much. By the way, I lost just under 900,000 this session. That's not the part that upsets me today. The part that upsets me, although it certainly upset me at the time, the part that upsets me today is how badly I played in 2014. If we were looking at a 2005 session, I'd be like, okay, yeah, sure. But I don't find it as funny when it was recent enough that I was supposed to be playing really well. Like I was already making run and once videos at this point. Um, so I'm very disappointed in myself from this night. I guess what I'm hoping is that I was really tilted and let it, I, I'm not happy with that either though. But yeah, I think I just developed this counter strategy to Isildur that was a really bad one. And you got to see it here today. If you enjoyed that, let me know. Unfortunately, I don't think I have any sessions this bad saved, but I'm happy to review other sessions I played or other spots. I will see you in the next video. Please click subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And so you don't miss the next stream whenever that is. I streamed recently, but I often don't announce it in advance. So you gotta follow me on Twitter and or subscribe here so that you see when I'm going to stream because uh, I, don't, I don't give enough fair warning most of the time. I will see you next time. Take care.